is the most prolific rapist in history? That's the question. That's that's the great debate we're having right now. Oh my god, no, not a raid. Not a raid right now, dude. Dude, you two got it done. <laughs> you guys just fucking raided into the worst possible conversation. Okay, just know before I let you guys in on the fucking game, we don't get offended around here. And we have sketchy conversations. Are you guys ready? We are debating who is the most prolific race, uh, rapist of all time. Okay, well first let's give a fucking shout out Fighting Irish. Uh, if you guys get a chance to give him a follow, there's his Twitch. Give him a little, give him, give him a little love. With all the formalities out of the way, let's get back to the task at hand. Who is the most prolific rapist of all time? Raynard Sinaga? Who is that? Cosby? Cosby might be it, but who's Raynard Sinaga? I don't know who that is. I just Googled him, holy shit. I'm gonna stop the game because I'm gonna look him up. For everybody how would stephen hawking do it how would stephen hawking do it uh up down up down left right left right up right down left b right is that how he does it how do we word this best rapist <laughs> is that the right okay here he is look at this fucking guy dude he's First off, he's 41. He looks great. Ask ChatGPT how to avoid becoming the best rapist. ChatGPT. We are going to ask how to do that. How can I avoid... My daughter is sitting right over there, by the way. How can I avoid becoming a rapist? Okay. Avoiding becoming a racist involves understanding and actively practicing consent, respect for boundaries, and empathy towards others. Here are some key principles to follow. Understand consent. Respect boundaries. Educate yourself. Learn about healthy relationships, communication skills, and understanding the importance of mutual respect and dignity. Okay. Challenge rape culture. Do rapists have a culture? Is there a culture? Uh, seek help. Yep. <laughs> Be mindful of power dynamics. If you struggle with controlling impulses or having thoughts of non-consensual behavior, seek help from a therapist uh, or a counselor who can provide support and strategies to manage these feelings. That's true. I probably shouldn't have put how can I avoid. Okay. Anyways, that's in the past. We're moving forward. Take responsibility. If you have harmed someone in the past, take responsibility for your actions. Seek help and make amends. Could you fucking imagine any scenario where you rape someone and then make amends with them? Does that scenario exist? I don't think that it does. Okay. Anyways, now we all know collectively, I have now educated you all on how not to rape. Can we all agree that I just did that? Okay. So now, cause that was, that was to make the world better. Moving on. Reynard Sinaga, 41 years old, born in 1983, is an Indonesian sex offender, including 136 rapes. Oh, oh, well that makes sense. It's of men. That's why he got away with it. He raped men. This man has, dude, I wonder if he knows jujitsu. Hold on. Where he was living as a student, was found guilty of drugging and sexually assaulting 48 men during this period, 44 of whom he raped. So he, he did 136 rapes on 48 men. So this man sexually molested 48 men between them 136 times. That means he went back for more and succeeded. That's fucking crazy. I understand if you like sneak a rape in like one time on a guy, but you catch that motherfucker a second or a third time. And as a British man myself, it's in England, doesn't really count. They don't have testosterone. I think it's illegal to have testosterone in England. I do jujitsu and you know, it's hard. It's hard to hold a man down even when they're exhausted. Moving on. Sanaga is believed by police to have raped or assaulted at least 206 men in since two uh, 2015, okay? Which includes the two years before his arrival in the UK in Manchester, he waited for potential victims outside of nightclubs, pubs, and similar venues in the early hours. Yeah, obviously. Uh, Sanaga, hold on, let's get into this fucking story though, dude. I wanna know more about this man. S subsequently drugging and raping his victims. After some of the assaults, he boasted about his actions on WhatsApp. WhatsApp getting a shout out, guys. Woo! This man knew about WhatsApp since 2015. This guy was ahead of the fucking curve. I need a message about these rapes, and I can't have anyone get that information. Where do I go? And Meta was like, hey, sir. Hi. We have a we have a something for you. It's called WhatsApp. Okay. 
remaining in Manchester, Sanaga began his study for a PhD. This guy's a fucking PhD. Oh, well, he's trying for a PhD. That's what his PhD dissertation was. Fucking, when is it appropriate to rape? Oh, what the fuck? Why is this on his wiki? He rarely used condoms. What's this? Subsequent examination of Sanaga's iPhone. Yo, Apple, why are you letting people break into people's phones, dude? By the police led to the discovery of more than three terabytes. Three terabytes in 2015? No, not 2015, right? What year was this? I was gonna say, three terabytes back in 2015 is a lot of fucking terabytes of, of fucking porn. Hold on. Listen to this. Let's really... More than three terabytes of what, you ask? His own rapes. This man raped so much he had three terabytes. Was he fucking recording these in 8K? What the fuck was he doing? 120 FPS? 8K? He must have like a time-lapse camera on him to get that many terabytes of fucking rape. That's fucking crazy. How do you get three terabytes of rape? Dude, that's, that's so much. That's so much fucking rape. Holding the fucking GoPro in his mouth while he's fucking just banging away. Uh, in June 2017, his last victim, an 18-year-old amateur rugby union player. This man raped a rugby player? How good was that rugby player? Regained consciousness during the rape. Okay, so he fought off the drugs. Kid's tough. Fought off his attacker and reported the incident to the police. Dude, he was drugged. He got out of the drugs, got out of the rape, fought him off, ran to the fucking police, and got him. That's pretty baller. It'd be so funny if, if he's actually fucking huge. Yeah. He might, you know what? Honestly, he might be. Cause like, you know, these, these shots don't necessarily show like, you know, you can, he could have slanted shoulders, but be absolutely fucking jacked. He, dude, no. Look at this guy. He's dapper, dude. No. No. Look at, look at this fucking, you know, he sent that to one of his rape victims after he's like, Hey, I'm just thinking about you. This man does not have a single energy of straightness, other than the fact he is forcefully raping them. That is very masculine. Because here's the other thing, guys. I don't know if you've ever considered this, but having come inside you as a man is gay. Think about that. If you have come inside you, you're that's kind of gay. So fucking a dude to get to come out is kind of straight. This guy's actually really straight. Where's this fucking hair? Where does how does forehead take over so hard? Holy shit. I can't believe this guy raped that many men. If I was, okay, hit a button, go back to 18 year old Ian. If I had the time all the way up to now, could I rape that many men? I don't think so. If I it just, I don't think I have the ability. I don't think I would have the long-term strength and endurance, the commitment. This guy has work ethic, that's for sure. Okay, so he's not strong, but he does rape. Moving on. Sanaga lived in a flat, uh, he was found negative for sexually transmitted infections upon arrest. That's, that is an achievement. Cheers. Raped that many men, didn't get an STD. At the time his sentence was announced in January 2020, almost all of Sanaga's victims were known to have been heterosexual young men, with three exceptions. Whoa. He was turning heterosexual men as a sport. Of one victim in January 2015, who had argued with his girlfriend in the factory nightclub near Sanaga's home, he told a WhatsApp group, Super Ray saves straight boys from their monstrous girlfriend. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. <laughs> only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Chef, why? Why now? Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. <laughs> only hate the road when you're missing home. <laughs> Only know you love her when you let her go And you let her go Are you fucking proud of that timing, chef? But anyways, okay, so I think He might actually be the most profound rapist in history What's- let's look up Cosby's numbers Bill Cosby Rape stats Over 60 women? Yeah, no Cosby doesn't hold a fucking candle to this guy Ooh, that's good. Most, wait, best female rapist. Why is this so hard? Oh, dude, she rapes for sure. Cardi hogtied a woman who had a three-day-old baby, taped a bag over her head, and suffocated her. Well, that's a murder. That's not a rape. Carla 
Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, let's dive into this fucking gem. Carla Leanne Homolka, also known as Carla Leanne Teal, Leanne Teal, and Leanna Bordellis, is a Canadian, a fucking Canadian, serial killer who acted as, as an accomplice to her husband, Paul Bernardo, taking active part in the rapes and murders of at least three minors in Ontario, including her own sister, Tammy Homolka. Between 1990 and 1992, first off, is that the best you got, women? Three? My man Sanaga's fucking putting up 200 plus. Homolka stated to investigators that she had an unwilling accomplice in Bernardo's murders as a result of domestic violence, resulting in a deal made with the prosecutors for a reduced prison sentence in exchange for a guilty plea to the charge of manslaughter. I guess it's, it is better going to prison for murder than rape, right? Homolka scored 5 out of 40 on the psychopathy checklist, in contrast to Bernardo's 35 of 40. However, videotapes of the crime surfaced after the plea bargain and before Bernardo's trial, proving that Homolka was a more active participant than she had originally claimed, including in the rape and death of her sister, Tammy. Tam oh, I don't want to read about Tammy. Or Jane. What's this chick? Early in the morning. Really? They have the f they, they fucking storified it? Early in the morning on June 15, 1991, Bernardo detoured through Burlington, halfway between Toronto and St. Catharines, to steal license plates found and found Leslie Mahaffey. Oh, they have a fucking picture? And a grade 9 student at M.M. Robinson High School. That's the girl. It's fucking crazy that they linked to this girl's photo. Is it, doesn't that feel weird that I can go on fucking wikipedia and just find like links with all these people's faces and information connecting everybody that's weird the 14 year old had missed her curfew after attending a friend's wake and was locked out of the house he claimed he had some in his vehicle when bernardo led her to his car he blindfolded her forced her into the car drove dude raping in the 90s must have been a different game just you just blindfolded a girl forcefully how does that fucking even work a homolka videotaped themselves torturing and sexually abusing Mahaffey while they listened to Bob Marley. Why did they? Why did they link Bob Marley and David Bowie? Jesus. The next two hours are going to determine what I do to you right now. You're scoring perfect. On another segment of tape played at Bernardo's trial, the assault escalated. Mahaffey cried out in pain and begged Bernardo to stop. In the crown description of the scene, he was sodomizing her while her hands were bound with twine. Mahaffey later told Bernardo that her blindfold seemed to be slipping, which signaled the possibility that she could identify her attackers, if she was set free or lived. The following day, Bernardo claimed Homolka gave her a lethal dose of triazolum, I don't know, about a dozen bags of cement. At a hardware store the following day, he kept the receipts which were damaging at his trial, Bernardo used his grandfather's circular saw to dismember Mahaffey. Bernardo and Homoka made a number of trips to dump the cement blocks in Lake Gibson, 18 kilometers. I never considered that you could do that, to be honest. Not dumb, while on a fishing expedition, June 29th. Huh, well guys, wasn't that interesting. And now we know about the best male and female rapist. I, we really learned a lot tonight, guys. And just in time for a raid, which probably upset 95% of poor fighting Irish's people that he raided over here.